Another feature that I really love about the version 2 of the Blackmagic camera app is the presets. So basically, it saves your favorite setting so you won't have to select it manually. All you have to do is press this three dots on the left side of the corner of the screen. It's also still located on the left side corner of the screen when it's landscape. The first icon at the top is the presets so I already made my presets here so I already labeled it as 24 FPS 30 FPS and 60 FPS now to create a preset of course you have to select all the settings that you need to and then right after that you just press that plus button and then rename it I'm just renaming it tests then right after it will be saved in this preset tab so whenever I try to change it let's say for example I select the 60 FPS that I created this press check here as you can see the settings changed select the 30 fps now this is definitely a good feature if you are a run and gun shooter especially if you're on travels you won't have to you know go dial up in the settings all the settings that you need to now you can just tap that three buttons and dial up that exact settings that you need on the right moment Another feature that I really love about the version 2 of the Blackmagic camera app is the presets. So basically, it saves your favorite setting so you won't have to select it manually. All you have to do is press this three dots on the left side of the corner of the screen. It's also still located on the left side corner of the screen when it's landscape. The first icon at the top is the presets. So I already made my presets here. So I already labeled it as 24 FPS, 30 FPS, and 60 FPS. Now to create a preset, of course, you have to select all the settings that you need to. And then right after that, you just press that plus button and then rename it. i just renaming it tests. Then right after, it will be saved in this preset tab. So whenever I try to change it, let's say for example, I select the 60 FPS that I created. This press check here. As you can see, the settings changed. Select the 30 FPS. Now, this is definitely a good feature if you are a run and gun shooter, especially if you're on travels. You won't have to, you know, go dial up in the settings, all the settings that you need to. Now you can just tap that three buttons and dial up that exact settings that you need on the right moment.